Hi, so this is part two of our Galaxy watercolor painting. And this is the final product that we're gonna be making. In the first video, I showed you how to make the background. And I have another one here that I made. And the most important thing is that it's very, very dry. So you wanna make sure before you take the tape off that it's very dry. And your little white stars won't work if the background is still damp. And you'll need some white acrylic paint that I've just put here on a little paper plate. You'll need a toothbrush, something that you can flick. You know, you want nice um, stout bristles. Uh, you could use a white gel pen. And we're gonna be using a tiny watercolor brush. So to begin, I have my white acrylic paint and I'm just gonna dip my um, toothbrush in some water to get it a little bit damp because typically acrylic paint is pretty thick. So with the wet toothbrush, I am just going to soften up and thin out some of that white paint. Now you wanna make sure you've covered all surfaces with some protectant. I have this Bristol board paper here so that I don't get splash all over my art room desk. So I've put some paint in the bristles and make sure your bristles are pointing down towards your art and then you want to pull it and flick it back towards the painting. So I'm just gonna go like this and I don't do it too fast. So this is getting kind of smaller ones. So if your dots are a little small you may need a little more paint on your toothbrush. I'm just gonna saturate that. Now be careful that you don't have big clumps flinging off. That's the Okay, so this one I'm going to just put a few more and you can just go crazy with this. All right. So, I got a little bit of the paint on the edge here. So, before I move on while it's still wet, I'm just going to take a little damp brush and then just lift that off just real quickly here just off the edge of my painting and then I'm going to take a look at my art and decide if I want to put any more little spots so you can use a gel pen and I'll just show you what the gel pen looks like here um, I prefer a tiny brush and some acrylic paint if you have it some of you guys don't have these these zero brushes um, yeah, I have this one. Very nice little tiny brush. And if it's, it has to have a really nice point on it so you can get this fine detail. If you don't have that point, then you can't make these tiny little dots. So if you don't have a really tiny point, then use a gel pen. And when you're putting these little stars in, you want to make sure that you're not doing it in a pattern, right? I don't want to see lines. So don't go do 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 all the way across in a line. You want to keep it random. And I'm just going to put a few in just to make some bigger stars here. And I love the way it looks when it's dry. It's really neat. Sometimes you'll get these kind of little uh, shooting stars. And it's such a fun technique to learn because every time you make one, it's going to look different. So you can see this one that I did earlier is a lot more blue and has finer splash on it. It really depends on how much water is in your acrylic. And then you really want to let it dry before you mess with it. So play with these, you know, have fun. Make a bunch of them. And I suggest that you cut up some small watercolor cards. Um, small is better for learning the background. If you have a giant paper, it's going to dry before you can finish your wet and wet technique. So it's always best for you to learn these techniques on a small paper. So that's why I always have these little cards around. So have fun with that and let me know how it goes. Don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching my video.